Hello everybody and welcome back to youtube.com. My name is Drew Gooden and today I'm, oh, there it is. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, today I'm gonna be talking about Logan Paul. Normally I would paint a little bit more context for a video just in case there's someone out there who doesn't know what I'm talking about, but I feel like in this case, I don't have to do that because this is so obvious. You probably wouldn't click on this video if you don't already know what Logan Paul did. Um, but just to sum it up in a few short words, basically this week, Logan Paul uh, managed to do what I thought previously was impossible, and he made Jake Paul seem not that bad. The two of them actually make a pretty good team. Um, and by that I mean that every time one of them fucks up, they make the other one seem not so bad in comparison. And then the other one messes up so bad that then you forget about what the other one did wrong. And it's like this endless cycle of just like two dumbasses trying to out dumbass each other. And those are like the two most popular people on YouTube. So um, things are things are good right now. Things are great. The main thing with this is like, this is such a reveal of character. It's not a mistake. There's a difference between a mistake and um, an action that shows people uh, who you really are. One of the biggest arguments made by all these Logan Paul apologists is like, oh, you, oh you're a perfect person? What, you never messed up before, huh? Huh? You, you never you never screwed up in your life? Yes, everybody makes mistakes, but usually when you make a mistake, you know instantly. That's how you know when you've made a mistake, is that instant regret. There was no instant regret here. There wasn't regret when he went and did it. There wasn't regret as he was editing it. There wasn't regret when he posted it. The regret came when he started getting piled on by probably people he respects, people like Aaron Paul, who just basically said he's human garbage. I'm sure when he's, Logan Paul saw that, that's when it hits. That's when you realize when you've made a mistake is when you get backlash for something. And to me, that's not a mistake because if you don't recognize that you've made a mistake until thousands and thousands of people tell you you've made a mistake, especially when it's something where the mistake should be so obvious from the beginning, that's not a mistake. That is a reveal of character. As far as his video apology goes, I don't think that was insincere. I think it felt sincere. But again, the sincerity of his apology didn't come from a place of, oh, I made a mistake. It's like, oh, people are turning on me. People are mad at me. I'm sorry that I did something that made people not like me. That's what I'm sorry for. His written apology comes off as very braggy, as Nerd City pointed out on Twitter. He basically pointed out eight, I think it was, brags in this very short apology. It was more of an excuse. It was more of a him being defensive than him being apologetic. I think his main point being like, I do this shit every day. I didn't stop to think about what I was doing because in the life that I've created for myself, I don't have time to stop to think. I think that is a valid excuse. But my response to that is, Logan, if by your own admission, you have worked yourself into a state where your brain does not recognize that what you did was wrong because you're so content, content, content all the time. If by your own admission, that was the reason that you would mess up is because you've done too many vlogs, then uh, here's some advice. Take a break, man. Take a few weeks off, take a month off. You know, no one wants to see you right now and you need to, you need to remember what it's like to be a person again. We've seen what happens when you uh, make a TV show every day for 460 days. This is what happens. Um, so maybe don't do that anymore. So that would be my advice to Logan. My general advice to everyone, this is just like something I would like to see change. How about we stop making these dumbasses famous? Can we do that? Have we learned yet that this is what happens? In his apology, he quotes Spider-Man and says, with great power comes great responsibility. Okay, so how about we don't give such great power to people who are so goddamn irresponsible? Jake Paul gets more famous every day. Logan Paul gets more famous every day. You check his social blade right now, even after the worst incident I can remember on YouTube, he is still getting tens of thousands of subscribers every single day. Why are we doing this? My question for everyone is like, what did we expect? Um, I think the last thing I'll address from your written apology is that you said, I'm regretful to say that I handled that power incorrectly. It won't happen again. I really hope it doesn't happen again. And I hope that the reason it doesn't happen again is because you step away. The daily vlog life needs to be put on the back burner right now. You need to live your daily life. Luckily for you, the world we live in right now is such a, uh, something is a big deal today 
and then it's not. There's so many other fucked up things going on in the world that this will eventually just, people will lose interest in this. I hate that fucking cycle. I hate that that's the world we live in, that it's just like, uh, if you do something bad, you can just do something worse or someone else can do something worse and then we all move on from that thing because we're distracted by this new thing. I hate that. But that's the reality and you're gonna benefit from that. So um, the best thing you can do right now is, is just disappear. The only way to show that you regret what you've done is to remove yourself from the public eye. Because if you just jump right back into where you were, I don't think that shows regret. You need to show that you've changed. You need to show that you wanna grow from this. And growing means taking a step back. It means uh, learning from your mistakes. It means listening. What it definitely doesn't mean is apologize, but then continue to do the same thing. So that's my advice to you. My advice to everybody is stop making these people famous. I'm so tired of it. Now I want to talk about something else totally unrelated to Logan Paul. Uh, so hopefully this will kind of cleanse your system a little bit. I want to bitch about something um, that in comparison to what I just talked about, I'm not really that angry about. Um, it's basically just another reason why I hate Facebook. I guess content wise, Facebook isn't that much different from Twitter, but the problem with my own personal Facebook is I have, I have 10 years worth of acquaintances and people I don't think I even ever met. And that's like, that's Facebook's like, oh, you gotta see this, Drew. Hey, Drew, we handpicked this for you. You know that guy you haven't talked to in eight years who you have nothing in common with and he looks completely different now? You probably wouldn't even recognize him if he didn't have his name right next to his face. Uh, yeah, he shared a funny video. He shared a real funny video from, uh, oh wait, it's not a video. It's a picture of a meme that looks like shit but it was turned into a video. It's just a still image for like 20 seconds. And then at the end, it will be like female thoughts. Sometimes even, if I'm lucky, I'll click on it and I'm looking at it and I'll get a mid-roll ad on a picture. So I don't like Facebook. I don't go on it. I don't talk about it much. It's just like, it's this thing that I've accepted I don't like. But then something happened last night and I wanted to make a video about this, but I didn't think it was worthy of a whole video. And so I just kind of tacked it on at the end of this one. My lovely fiance, Amanda, was going through uh, her old videos on her phone and she found one she had edited. We were playing racquetball and just kind of goofing around. We kept filming each other doing like, you know, ridiculous like hits. And she had edited it together and put uh, the song Party Up by DMX. Just like super aggressive song over it. That's the whole thing. So she wanted to post it somewhere. I was like, oh, just put it on Facebook, right? So she went to put it on Facebook. And mind you, not her like, not like a, a public page that has like a bunch of like likes and followers and the kind of thing that would in some way generate us revenue right? It's just like her private Facebook page. The only reason I say all that is because she got this message when she tried to post it. Your video is partially muted because it may contain music that belongs to someone else. Facebook is committed to protecting everyone's intellectual property. So we're letting you know that your video contains material that you may not have the rights to use. And here's the thing, like I'm all on board for intellectual property not being stolen and, and someone else not reposting that they, something that they found from somewhere else or posting a song that they don't have the rights to. I'm all for that. It's the hypocrisy of it. You know how many people post viral videos that they have ads on, that they directly make money from? From, where they have other people's intellectual property. Now, as far as content creators that use popular songs in their videos to sort of tell punchlines, who's the very first person that comes to mind? Obviously, it's Brent Rivera. Let's just go ahead and click on his most recent video. This is Christmas as a kid versus as a teen. It'll be very relatable, I'm sure. He even said to share if you can relate to it. Here's my Christmas list, all 120 items. I just want some money and a gift card. Brent, Brent. Oh wait, so Brent Rivera can post a video where the entire background music is uh, an obviously copyrighted song from Mariah Carey. Now, I didn't see a mid-roll ad on this video, but that is a thing on Facebook now, you get mid-roll ads. So maybe he's not directly making money on this video, right? Um, but then his post right before that is an ad. It's an ad for the Disney Channel app. So this guy who has 5 million likes can use whatever song he wants and actually make money from it. Whether directly or indirectly, he is profiting by using these songs in his videos. It just doesn't make sense to me. You know, I love the idea of having a system in place that protects copyright. I love that. But wh what are you protecting, right? Like, is, is DMX gonna get upset that uh, Amanda wanted to show 50 people her video. Posting something on your private Facebook page it, to me is almost the same as just like sending a video in a group text message. So you're gonna really lay down the law on that, 
but not someone who has 5 million views? Is it because he makes you money? I'm curious though, if this copyright detector or whatever, if it's limited to just music, or if it's also, if it will also track like when people are reposting other people's videos. I doubt that's the case, at least as of now. Would be nice to eventually get to that point. But certainly right now, you know, all you see is stolen videos all over Facebook. This is probably my most popular video from the past year. It was the short video I made in, in the uh, Five Days with Peaks video. It's always stolen on Instagram. And then it was stolen on Facebook too from a page ironically called Stolen From Somewhere. Facebook didn't seem to care that they were posting a, an entire video that they got from someone else. They have almost 200,000 likes on their page, all from stolen content. This seems to be a new system, so I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. I'm sure they're still working this out. I hope that in the future they do iron this out and it does prevent these big pages from just making a bunch of money from other people's content. I am so on board with that. I love that idea. And if Facebook can get that right before Instagram or Twitter does, they will win some points with me and maybe I will use Facebook more often. You know what? No, I take that back. Facebook sucks. <laughs> All right, guys, I think that's gonna do it for today's video. I want to sincerely thank the 65 people who have um, ordered something from my merch store. I obviously did the whole thing as a joke, as a parody of other people's merch. I wanted to make, you know, state-of-the-art merch that was just a bunch of nonsense. Um, but 65 of you actually wanted to like be in on the, on the joke and buy a stapler, which I sold out of, or buy a cup, which I also sold out of. Um, I, I cannot thank you enough. I think that's so funny and awesome. And um, most of all, good that I'm not gonna lose money on this. I might actually break even. But again, thank you guys so much for doing that. Um, there are still plenty of items available at drewgoodenshop.com if you, if you guys wanna uh, order something. I haven't been able to ship everything yet because I am handling everything out, everything myself. I'm packing it, I'm shipping it. But yeah, I expect everything to be shipped. Hopefully by the time I post this video, I will have, have shipped uh, everything that's been ordered so far. But again, thank you guys so much for doing that. The Little Stinkers are the second strongest army after, of course, Danny Gonzalez is Greg. I can't compete with the fastest growing channel on YouTube. Don't look that up. But I can, at least in this case, get the silver medal. You guys are awesome. And I will be adding a few more items to the store sometime next week. So if you're interested in seeing uh, the announcements for that, follow me on Twitter at Drew is Gooden. Uh, follow me on Instagram at Drew is Gooden uh, to see me post one video a month. Thank you sincerely so much uh, for all of the support and love I've gotten from you guys. I wouldn't be able to do this without all of you. Um, have a good day or week or whatever, I don't know. I'm trying to think of like a clever way to end this, but I'm just, I am so fucking hungry that my brain isn't working right now. And so I'm gonna turn off the camera and go get some food. Um, thank you guys again so much for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video.